There have been many dinosaurs in the Jurassic Park franchise so far. However, a very small amount of them are on the same level as human characters. As of right now in Jurassic World Dominion, you can only say this about Blue and Rexy. Rexy, of course, is the same Tyrannosaurus Rex from Jurassic Park, and we know Blue has a very close relationship with Owen Grady, and she has shown many emotions that not many Velociraptors have. However, it is safe to assume at this point that Rexy is by far one of, if not the oldest dinosaur in the entire franchise right now. There are plenty of dinosaurs that are close, and many of them probably were in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. However, we can't pinpoint exactly which ones they are. We just know Rexy was the first Tyrannosaurus Rex, and she has been there since the early 90s. So it does make you wonder what they will do with her in Jurassic World Dominion. There is the story idea of Rexy rematching the Gigantosaurus and avenging the prehistoric Tyrannosaurus Rex that was killed off in the opening scene. On top of that, we already know in that same opening scene, she will be a massive focus on mainland. Of course, when you think about it, they would not want a Tyrannosaurus Rex in a city environment. And when you do factor in the idea of her being very old, very malnourished, and being focused on by the human beings as well as fighting a Gigantosaurus, it is hard to tell exactly how she will end up at the very end of the movie. If I did have to guess, I do believe Rexy will survive this movie. We just saw something similar to this in the Brachiosaurus scene in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. A very nostalgic dinosaur that a lot of fans do enjoy died off, and it was one of the most emotional scenes in the entire franchise. So I don't believe fans are clamoring to see that once again. And with this all being said, I do believe the idea of Rexy's legacy living on has to be brought up. We did talk before about how this would become a Jurassic World. With open sourcing now being available, people can get access to different dinosaur DNA, and they can clone these different creatures. One of them could be a Tyrannosaurus Rex, and over time, the T-Rex population around the world would increase. However, when I do think about it, there are two different ideas that do relate back to Jurassic Park that make the most sense. The first idea is Parthenogenesis. Although, like the other Jurassic Park dinosaurs, Rexy was bred as female, Parthenogenesis does allow these female dinosaurs to reproduce without a mate. And the reason why this would be significant is because it does relate back to Jurassic Park. One of the most well-known lines in the entire Jurassic Park franchise is Life Finds a Way. So this would be an example of that, and it would allow Rexy's legacy to live on while connecting to Jurassic Park roots. The second idea is very much like the Jurassic World Dominion opening scene. Long after Jurassic World Dominion, if Rexy died off due to old age, a company with cloning technology could use her DNA, and they could use that to make a brand new Tyrannosaurus Rex. This would not only continue the legacy of Rexy, but it would allow the legacy of that prehistoric Tyrannosaurus Rex to live on as well. Either way though, in Jurassic World Dominion, I don't know if they will have to explore this. I think Rexy will survive, and if they want to continue making Jurassic films after this, then I think that's when this would become significant. For all of you though, what do you think about this? Would you like to see the legacy of Rexy live on or not? Write all of your opinions on this topic down below, and if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe if you want, and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and have a nice day.